Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Um, this will be my first video that I'm doing as a veteran. Um, I wanted to speak on something that I saw in a group on Facebook. Basically, um, a young lady was speaking about an experience she had at the VA. She was upset because she's concerned that uh, because of an issue that happened, her caretaker will no longer be providing her escort and transportation to the VA. She is a woman veteran. Um, her, I guess, adult teenage daughter um, was taking her to the VA for appointments and um, a guy walked up to her, the daughter, um, while she was standing there with her mom and made the comment, um, how old are you? Because if you're 18 or 19, you're too old for me. And I think he touched her. I don't know if he was joking or if this was just some kind of weird humor for him or whatever. But um, it made the daughter feel very uncomfortable so there was a lady who worked at the VA in the general vicinity of the situation and basically um, her she either heard him or maybe they said something to him I'm not sure but whatever the case is um, because I'm going off my memory which is not the best but um, the lady was like oh he don't mean no harm whatever whatever well, the woman was very upset because her daughter was very uncomfortable with this. And um, I think they just basically said to him, hey, don't you know, leave him alone. Oh, he don't mean no harm. And she kind of went on with her business. I guess she sees this guy at the VA on a regular basis. So when they left out of the VA, the young lady told her mom, hey, I'm never going back there ever again. Um, it really bothered her what happened. I'm not sure if it was a trigger for an MST reason or what. But um, so she's concerned that she's not going to have a have transportation there. And um, there were other people in this group that spoke about the scenario and said to her basically kind of like, Oh, well, there's not much that can be done. So that's what I'm speaking on. The can't much be done part. Um, I've been um, a patient at the VA hospital um, several, in fact, in Georgia, in the Georgia region, for quite a while. Um, I receive all my care in Georgia, primarily um, the Augusta, Georgia VA. Um, but I have a lot of unofficial experience with the VA and the fact is there's a lot that can be done v the VA is our medical home it's the home um, of primary medical care for veterans a lot of veterans and every veteran is supposed to feel welcome as well as their guest escorts or whatever um, I as a matter of fact am shooting this video in Georgia, uh, in Augusta, because I have an appointment um, and I'm using what's called Hoptail. If you have an appointment um, at a VA hospital and it's at least two to three hours um, from your home, they will put you in a hotel the night before. As long as the appointment is at um, 10, I mean, 10 a.m. or earlier. If it's later and and you can drive from your, if you can leave from your house at eight o'clock and get to your app appointment within two hours, they're not gonna do it. So if I had a 11 o'clock appointment and I left at eight and I live two hours away, I would be here in enough time so they wouldn't get the hotel. But because 10 is the two hours, they would, they got it for me. So, but, um, as a veteran, you have a right to um, be comfortable. And if there's an issue that you have 
every veteran hospital has at least three to four patient reps and they can do something. And if they don't do something, they have a boss who can do something. And if the boss doesn't do something, they have an administrator who can do something. I think you see where I'm going. There's always someone that you can speak with and there is ne it's never okay to feel uncomfortable um, at the VA as a veteran. It's never okay to not get the care that you need. It's never okay to feel like you have questions that are not answered. It's never okay not to get appropriate care, medical or whatever. And that does include anyone who has to escort you. This young lady does not have any other way to get to the VA other than her daughter. And now she feels she does not have that option. And that is not okay. You are to go to a patient rep anytime that you have a problem with an employee or another veteran. And you tell them whatever. And they can immediately have that veteran, um, first of all, counseled about what they did wrong. And number two, um, you know, if it's severe enough, they will escort them out of there or arrest them because that was sexual harassment. And I know that he is not an employee, but he's still a person and he has to abide by rules as well as that employee. And it's not okay that her feelings were dismissed. So, um, as a female veteran, never have to feel triggered or unhappy uh, about anything that you experience at the VA hospital from a employee or other veteran. If anything happens, you go to a patient advocate. Also, every, every primary care has a social worker you can go to. They help you with issues inside and outside of the VA to include financial issues. So you do have resources as veterans. A lot of times people complain about the VA, but most of the time they just don't know about the services. And I want to say also, this is not an edited video. I'm just speaking freely. And so if I misspeak, I apologize. Um, it's not intended, but I will not be editing this video. Um, I'm just going to speak um, you know, on the subject and then post it. So, um, but um, they do help with a lot of resources. If there is a question specifically, if I know it, you can ask me below and I will speak on it, give you the information or resource that you need. Um, I will from time to time um, start putting up videos about different issues and things that I see in the VA. Um, because I, a lot of times I hear people talk and I have had so much assistance from the VA. I've had medical assistance. I get all my medical care there. If they cannot provide the service for me, they send me out to a civilian that can. Um, and I've had uh, assistance with bills from time to time. It's been a while, but I still have had that assistance. I've also had assistance with housing at one point in time, many years ago again, but they still provide the assistance. So there are a lot of resources for um, women and men. I also am a part of the Women's Veterans Health Program. I receive all my services from a uh, team of women doctors, nurses, social workers, etc. Everybody that has um, any primary care um, services for me is a female. So, um, I just wanted to speak on that because as a woman, she should not have to feel like that. She should not be concerned because that's an unnecessary stress that now on top of her medical issues that she has to worry about. And it's not fair to her. That veteran, that guy's going on about his business and, uh, it's probably harassed another person and it is, it's not right and it's not something you have to tolerate. You never have to be unhappy in a VA system. You served your country and you have rights. Simple as that. So thank you for taking the time to uh, listen. If you know someone else that may um, need this information, please refer this video to them. If you have any questions for me, you can ask down below or use my contact information in this video and ask me the question as well. Thanks again and talk to you guys later.